What's up everybody? It's your girl Stephanie and today I have my September favorites for you. We got some skincare of course as always. I got a couple palettes that I'm pretty obsessed with and a pair of shoes that I think a lot of y'all will like. So before we get into it, if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. I picked a really weird area to film today. It's also kind of late in the day and like, if I lift my hands, <laughs> we got some sunlight up in here. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with some skincare. So first of all, I have this Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Camo Drops. This is a product that you use after you moisturize. You do a few drops on your skin and it turns from this kind of light green color into a more beige skin tone. And it's supposed to help even out redness in your skin. I've really been enjoying this because it gives just the slightest amount of coverage, but it does just kind of even things out. So if you're trying to find something that is quite light, like for every day, if you're just trying to put on something without doing the full makeup and concealer and everything, this could be a good option. I don't really know why I didn't try it out until recently. Dr. Jar also has like a really way more intense version, which is like in a pot. So if you have a lot of redness in your skin, that could be the one to go for. It's like a very more like thick cream, whereas this is a more watery serum-like texture. This is also part of their Sika Pear line, which is specifically targeted for sensitive to like irritated skin. So it's supposed to help soothe and calm the skin down. Um, in terms of this line, I absolutely love just like the regular cream. They came out recently with like a gel-like cream as well for something a little bit lighter. If you have sensitive skin, I would really recommend looking into this whole line. I do like so many of their products. Um, but yeah, I've been using this on days where I just really wanted a no makeup kind of look, but I did want to even out the skin tone. Of course, I did, I did do a full face today because I wanted to show you the other products, but I have been using this quite regularly uh, on no makeup days. The next skincare product I'm gonna talk about, I think this is a fairly new product uh, by Kate Somerville. This is the Eradicate Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. This has 2% salicylic acid in it, which I believe is like the highest amount that you can have. I'll be honest, I've really been using this regularly for the past like week and a half, I believe. So it hasn't been that long, but um, we went to Vegas for Jen's birthday. My skin was doing real well right up until then. And then right after I got back from Vegas, like so much stuff happened around my chin. There's definitely a bunch of dark spots now. I got this weird pimple like right uh, next to my eye, next to my eyebrow. And I just started using this really religiously. It not even was just like uh, individual acne, but it was the texture got really messed up. I think Vegas is just so dry. And then I was on the plane. All those things combined, my skin was just not happy, so I started using this especially around the chin area and I feel like it really targeted all that stuff going on and the skin texture definitely smoothed out really significantly. For me, salicylic acid and sulfur products work really well and in the Eradicate line, there are products uh, for both of those things. So I was like using this all over my face and then doing the sulfur spot treatment as well. I was like really hitting it hard and I feel like it really helped clear things up much faster. I wanna mention a tool that I've really been enjoying. So in terms of foundation application, Beauty Blender has been my go-to. I really haven't strayed far from the Beauty Blender for years and years now. But recently when I started using the uh, Pat McGrath foundation, which I still freaking love, I started using brushes because it is like a thinner formula and I felt like I actually didn't need to thin it out as much as other foundations or other concealers. So I started using these brushes here. So this is the Pat McGrath like foundation brush here. It is uh, just a really nice, dense, packed brush that is curved. So it isn't like a flat top, it's a curved top. And then here we have the same kind of brush pretty much from Il Maquillage. This is the 100 foundation blending brush. These are really similar in terms of like the density and the size of the bristles, so that's why I wanted to show both of them because I've been using them kind of interchangeably. But it's just been really nice to apply foundation. I feel like it gives it a very 
soft airbrushed look. If you have a very thin foundation that you wanna work with and you don't wanna thin out too much, but you don't wanna just like apply with your fingers, I think this brush is such a great tool to use. And also I've been using it now for my concealer. So I'll put my concealer on, but use, you know, quite a bit less than I would have if I'm blending it out with the beauty blender. It's not as good as getting into the very little corner. So I'll kind of start blending and then, you know, maybe use my finger a bit to blend it down a little bit more and go back in with the brush but it does apply even thicker concealers really well and you don't have to use as much. So yeah, I just wanted to give a little shout out to these because I really didn't think I would ever be a foundation brush kind of person, but clearly I am now. All right, let's talk about the palette I've been using for my eyes. This is the Rachel Zoe Lorac Hollywood Glamour Mini Palette in Effortless Glamour. I only received this, I'll be honest, like a week ago, but I've been using it every day since I've received it. It is the perfect little palette. I love this size. This is like so convenient. And I like like every single color in here. So for today's look, I prime my eyes with a super goop that I always use. And then I put this matte light brown. Every single one of these colors blend so nicely. I think a lot of the times when it comes, especially to a, a matte brown like this, it can get splotchy really fast. This one doesn't. I like, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I did this all over the eyes and then I ended up adding this kind of shimmery, darker brown on top of it. And I also added that, you know, underneath the lash line as well, layered on top of this matte brown. And then I went into the inner corners and I kind of just like dipped into both of this like purpley shimmery shade and then also this champagne shimmery shade. I just dipped into both of them with a pencil brush, put that in the corner, and that in itself was a really good look. Um, but then I decided to add a little bit of liner. So I just use a regular liner here. I have, uh, this is the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil in Double Life. I lined just the top of my eyes there, and then I used a pencil brush to grab this kind of warm, dark brown and created a little bit of a brown liner moment. Use like every single one of these colors except for the super shimmery one, which I would actually, I could have added it into the inner corner if I wanted to, but I just didn't do it. It's really rare that even for a tiny little palette like this that I will like or be able to use every single color in it, but that is really the case with this little guy. And I just looked it up online. I believe it's $15 on Ulta. Um, it just got released, so I think for $15, even though it is like a tiny little guy, the fact that every single color is useful and they are so blendable and actually high quality, this little palette is so worth it to me. I love it. I wanna talk about some face products that I've been really liking. Okay, so this is the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Ghost. So this is their new holiday collection. Last year's holiday collection I was also obsessed with and I like hit pan. <laughs> I hit pan in that one. This one, I feel like it's gonna be the same situation. Uh, I have used now one, two, three. So four of these colors in here are very, very useful for me. For my bronzer, I use the bottom right color. Just like any other Hourglass product, all these are just so blendable, so easy to blend, also buildable. So I use that one for my bronzer. And then today actually, I did another, I did another combo. So we did a double combo with the Lorac and the Hourglass, but I just combined these two colors. So I just kind of just dipped into both of those for my blush. I like to be quite light with the blush. And then for my highlight, I did this really pretty kind of more pinky champagne shimmery color. Hourglass's uh, highlighters are always really subtle and I've been much more into the subtle look instead of like a wham bam all the time kind of highlighter, which I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love that a lot, but for the daytime especially, I think this is such a nice highlighter. Just the ease of application and the colors and everything, um, I really do love this palette as well. All right, I got one final thing to show you. These cowboy boots from Zara. I'm trying to get out of frame as much as possible, okay? These are just some really nice suede cowboy boots from Zara that I got recently. It has some nice embroidery detailing 
up the leg. The heel is quite small, I would say. The issue with cowboy boots, because I've had a few pairs in my life, sometimes it just doesn't hit you right and it makes you look a little bit stubby. Like I'm 5'2", so for me where a boot hits, it really, really makes a difference. Where these boots hit on me, it's like right underneath the knee kind of and it doesn't shorten me at all because a lot of cowboy boots that I've tried on or this kind of style of boot, it'll be like just a bit shorter um, and it'll hit right at like the widest part of the muscle, which makes me look stubbier. Um, so I think the design of this boot is great. It makes me look maybe, I don't know, taller, but doesn't make me look shorter. The boot is pointy as well, so it elongates the foot. I, by the way, have very wide feet um, and these work for me. Also because they're like a suede material, they stretch a bit. Zara's interesting because I feel like in the past I could never wear a Zara shoes, but I have now found like two of my favorite pairs of shoes from Zara. Maybe it's the boots. The boots from Zara work for me, but like strappy ones don't because my feet are so wide that like won't fit into the strappy area. I was a little bit concerned about these boots at first when I ordered them online because they are quite pointy. So I thought my foot would get squished in there, but they do not, thankfully. I think it's a really versatile boot that is also, you know, quite functional and cute at the same time. All right, y'all, that is it for my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I wanted to apologize, I know the past couple weeks have been slacking a little bit, but I have some videos that <laughs> are very interesting that I'm gonna be posting soon. Um, I actually have an episode of Sex Marts coming out we're gonna be talking about some toys. Um, so that's gonna be a very, very interesting one coming out. I also am just gonna do a general one on dating apps. I think that that one is gonna happen right after this video. I'm gonna be talking about like the dating apps I've used and then I wanna do an updated video on like dating app 101. Cause I did that like years ago and I wanted to add that into the Sex Mark series. So that'll be coming up. And I also, if you saw on Instagram, I was talking about like self-defense, self-safety products, like mace, like door locks that you can get for your house, all that stuff. That video is actually gonna be coming out as well. I ordered a bunch of products. So we're gonna be talking about some self-defense, self-safety products coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for that. If you come this far again, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.